In this video, I'm going to go over what PyPy is and how you can use it to publish your own Python projects. That means by the end of this video, you will be able to publish a package so anyone in the world can run a pip install to download and use your code. So very quickly, to give some background for those that don't know, PyPy is the Python package index. PyPy allows you to find, install, and publish Python packages. This means that every time you do a pip install package name, pip is going out to PyPy to download and install the package. Let's hop into a terminal, and I'll show you how easy it is to publish your own Python package. Okay, so to get started with your first PyPy project, start off in an empty directory. I have one here. All I have here is a readme file, which has some instructions that I put together for us as we go through this. Now, I'm also going to be going through the official Python documentation on how to publish a PyPy project. So I'll be referencing this, but in my readme, I sort of shortened it down and made it a little more simple than this official documentation. So let's hop back into here and I'm going to open up a terminal. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we have an upgraded version of pip. Since this is a PyPy project and we're going to be using pip to install it as well as do some pushing of the package, we want to make sure we have the latest version. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to take this Windows command and then there's the Linux version of the command as well. I'll make sure to add this to my GitHub in the description below if you want to follow along. So I'll take this and paste it in and this is going to go out and upgrade pip for us. After that, I have uh, some instructions on how to create a directory structure. And this is what our directory structure is going to look like. So you should always include a license file. This is just going to be some licensing information. We have a pyproject.toml file. I'll be going through this. Basically, this has all the information in regards to the package as well as setup.cfg. After that, we have readme. So it's just good practice to always have a readme file. So when you upload this to GitHub, as well as PyPy, this is going to be the documentation supplied with your project. After that, we have a folder name source, and then under there is going to be our package name. So this subfolder name is actually important. When you do your pip install, and then you do your Python import statement, this is going to be the package name. So let's make sure to name that properly. And then uh, with any package, you have this init.py. For our example, we're just going to keep this empty. And then uh, we have our Python script. There's also this test directory. This is for including any tests that you want with your project. So let's go ahead and create all these. I have commands to do that here. So I'm just going to copy this in and paste it. And you can see that this created all the directory structure that we required. So we got our test directory, our license, and our PI project, and setup config, and then our actual Python project. So I have this package named as my package. Make sure to rename this to whatever you want your package name to be. So now that we have our directory structure created, we want to modify this PI project.toml file. So I'm going to take this and paste it into the file. And basically what this is, is just specifying the setup tools required for building your project. For most of your projects, you're just going to leave it as is and use setup tools and wheel. This should be sufficient for most of your projects. After that, let's go back into the readme. Let's copy and paste this configuration into our readme. And this is going to be a lot of the information that you're going to want to customize for your project. So I'll paste this in here. And uh, let's just sort of go over these settings. So this is going to be the name of your project. So when you do your pip install, this is going to be the project name. So I'm just going to call this my project. And the version number I'm going to leave at uh, 0.0.1. And uh, as I make revisions to my project, I'll have to make sure to increment this number. And then some of these fields are pretty obvious, so I'll just fill them out right now. That's fine for our name. I don't have a GitHub URL, but I can add that in in a later update. And most of this, I'm just going to keep the same. 
Now, one thing that I'll mention here is you could actually, instead of using a setup.cfg file, you could use a setup.py file. And this would allow you to use Python to dynamically set some of these settings. But the current recommendation that the PyPy Foundation gives is to just use setup.config if possible. Okay, so after you have your directory structure created, your pyproject.toml and your setup.config set up, you'll want to run the build. So before we do that, let's open up another terminal here. And we're going to make sure that our build tools are installed and upgraded. So I'm going to take this command which basically does a pip install upgrade build. So this is just upgrading our build tools, which we're going to use in the next step. I'll scroll down here and you can see that we're just going Python dash M build. And this is just going to build the project in the current directory. So I'll go Python dash M build. And this should create another folder for us with all the files that are required for this project. And this is what's gonna get uploaded to PyPy. Okay, so it looks like that ran properly. You can see the naming structure that it gave. So it says my project, the version number, and just some additional information there. If we look in this folder here, this is everything in regards to the PyPy package that will be uploaded to PyPy. So now that we have the build completed, let's go ahead and upload this to PyPy. So I'm going to go back into our browser here and I'm going to start using this documentation. And if I scroll down, you can see that it suggests that we use Twine. So I'm going to take this and uh, update my documentation here. So the first thing we want to do is uh, upgrade twine and then we can upload to PyPy. But what they're recommending is we actually, instead of doing it to the production PyPy, it wants us to use test PyPy. And I suggest you do this as well. So before you do that, go on over to test.pypy.org. So we'll open that up. And you can see we're in test PyPy and I'm logged in. If you're not already logged in, go ahead and do so or create your account. Once you have an account created with a password, go back in here and make sure you've upgraded Twine. So I'll do that right here. And once Twine is finished upgrading, go ahead and take this command and put it in and basically just to break down this command it's just taking twine and it's saying upload and the repository that it's uploading to is test pypy if you are uploading this to just pypy.org not the test instance you could remove this switch and uh, this repository name and then this here is basically referencing this folder so this is the project that's going to be uploaded to test PyPy. So I'll go ahead and enter that. And it should prompt me for a username. So I'm going to put in my username for test.pypy.org. So I put in the wrong username and password. So let me try again. Okay, so I'm getting an error here and it's saying 403 forbidden uh, user Brad Morg isn't allowed to upload project my project. So basically what this is saying is there's already a project named my project on PyPy. So this is a name collision. I wanted to show this to you guys just in case if you ran into this issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this project name unique just to make sure that this project uploads properly. So I'll go back into our setup.config and instead of being my project, which is pretty generic, and obviously someone's taken this name already. I'm gonna go DevOps Journey dash my project. And uh, I'm gonna have to redo the build. So let's redo the build here.
and I'm actually noticing that my old files are there so I'm actually going to delete this as I don't want that to cause problems so I'm going to delete that and then just redo the build and uh, just make sure everything's fresh here and when I have a look now you can see that this distribution directory looks a little bit cleaner so I like that let's go ahead and see if we can upload that I'm going to go back to my commands for that and it was the twine upload command so let's do that put in that username and it should work this time and it looks like it did so if we go to this URL we can see that we have our project here so it tells you everything about it um, it says pip install and then it gives this extra parameter that you guys probably aren't really familiar with basically this is just referencing testpy.org uh, if we were doing this to the regular pypy production site then you wouldn't need to include that and then it has our readme and everything so this is looking like a nice good professional project so let's go ahead and make a change to our project and then I'll show you how we can actually install this using pip. So if I hop back in here, I'm going to go here into our source directory and then I have this my package and then I have something called main. I'm just going to rename this to uh, channel and I got some code ready that I'm just going to paste in here. And basically what this does is it opens a web browser and goes to my YouTube channel. So that's the change that I've made in my code was add this channel.py file and uh, I should be able to go into Python and import this after doing a pip install. So let's go ahead and upload the change to PyPy and then we'll pull it down using pip. So let's go into setup.config. And all we need to do is increment the version number. And then let's uh, redo the build. So we'll go pi-m build. And if I expand this, we should see a new version of our build come up. And it's fine for us to leave our old build files in there as well. So I'll just leave them. And you can see the version 2 tar.gunzip file is there. And then uh, it looks like the wheel file just generated. Okay, so it looks like our build files are there. Let's go ahead and upload it to PyPy. So we'll run twine upload. Put in the username. And see that it uploads. And there you go. You can see the new version here and it gives us the installation command. So I'll pull that into my clipboard and let's go ahead and open a new terminal. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this command, which should install my project. And there you can see that it installed it. Now, if I want to load it up, I go into Python and having a look at what my project looks like, I'm not going to import it as DevOps journey dash my project. I'm actually going to import it based on what this folder structure looks like channel.py. So let's do that. So I'll go from my package import channel. And you can see that it opens up my YouTube channel. So there you go. That's how you can create a new project and package it up and upload it to PyPy so other people can go out and use pip to install your project. So once again, I put all reference material in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you want to use it to follow along and create your own Python project. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about Python, go ahead and check out my other Python videos. I also have a couple playlists dedicated to Python. And if you're interested in learning anything else about IT or DevOps in general, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.